What's up, peeps? It's me. I'm back. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody is staying safe. And I hope everybody is being smart. Most importantly, I hope you are loving yourselves first. Getting to know the real you. Going inside. Doing that necessary work internally. So that you can begin the process of changing your external world. And that you're sharing love. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. It's all about we've got to learn to love ourselves. And then we've got to learn to extend that love that we have for ourselves. Extend that love to other people. So I just hope everybody is doing well on this fine Sunday afternoon. Um, I just wanted to come on here and just talk to y'all a little bit. It's not going to be long. But um, just, you know, so that we can have, you know, this moment where we share and um, where I share some of what I'm going through. Because I'm dealing with the same stuff that everybody else is dealing with. I'm just, um, I'm just choosing to deal with it in a higher way, on a higher frequency, uh, on a higher vibration, right? And um, in the last video, we talked about, I, I talked about the 1111 portal, right? And how powerful the 1111 um, angel number is. And hold on a minute, y'all. I just thought about this. I just want to read a little bit about the 1111 because if I'm not mistaken, I think that 1111 portal goes on beyond uh, November the 11th and extends out for uh, a number of days afterwards. But uh, this is just a little something that I want to read to you about the 1111 portal, the, the significance of, 11, uh, of the number 1111 and all of that. I just want to read this to you so we can... Um, Okay, where is it? Are you going to let it come up? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, and this is just a little article from her zing, 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 the zing, the G dot com, something like that. Um, and just listen, it says 1111 portal, know the meaning and importance of this lucky day tomorrow, according to numerology. So this was something that was uh, uh, published on November the 10th. Um, according to neurology, the number 1111 signifies an important moment in time for an event to happen. The significance of the 1111 portal lies in its ability to awaken and align us with one's spiritual purpose. The 1111 portal is a powerful phenomenon that occurs on November the 11th, also known as 1111. That this date holds significance in neurology as it represents a spiritual gateway that opens up for those who are tuned to its energy. In numerology, November is a special month because it holds the energy of the number 11. The number 11 is considered a master number and is associated with spiritual awakening and enlightenment. For instance, the number 11 is referenced is referred to as a master number and a potent manifestation number. That's November 2023's energy. It's interesting to note that the number 11 comes up when adding the day, date, and year of 11-11-223. This month is very powerful for manifestation. To know the meaning and significance of 11-11, we spoke to astrologer Pandit Arvind Tripathy to know more on this topic. Okay, y'all, I'm going to keep reading. The numerological energy of the number 11 is enhanced on the day 1111. And that's because now this master number is doubled. So now 11 is a master number. It's a powerful number anyway. Why? Because it's double ones. And one is 
one one encompasses it all. So in, in when in, when dealing with the case of of eleven, you have double ones. So that's what makes the number eleven so powerful. The num the numerological energy of the number eleven is enhanced on the day eleven eleven, and since the master number appears twice, see it's doubled, and November is the eleventh month, it always carries the energy of knowledge. The bigger life lessons you have been directed towards are best understood in light of the events that occurred in one's life around 11-11. So hopefully you guys paid attention to uh, uh, maybe some things that, like I, like I said in the video, maybe some things or some feelings or some shifts in your energy or whatever that were happening to you maybe a week or two. Uh, prior to 11-11 or, or maybe a day or two prior to 11-11. Uh, maybe there was some significant in, uh, uh, events that took place in your life. Maybe you felt a, a, a certain kind of way. Maybe you felt differently than you normally do. And that feeling just stayed with you. Uh, pay attention. Significance of 11-11 of portal. The angelic energy number 11-11 awakens you to the fact that you are back by unseen powers, that you are backed by unseen powers, that you are not alone in this world. So for those of you who walk around feeling like you're, like you're alone, you feel like you don't have anybody to talk to, you feel like everything that you go through, you have to go through it by yourself, you don't have any help or whatever, understand that you are never alone. You are an energetic, spiritual being. And you are connected through your DNA, through your very cells, through the stardust that is in your body. Because remember, the human body is made up of stardust. They have found stardust. This is not uh, 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 this is not something that we think. This is not something that we hope. This is something that we know. They have found stardust in the human body. So your human body, your, your, your internal body is made up of the same stuff that the universe is made up of. Melanin, dark matter, light. Because you are connected to the cosmos. You are one with everything, including the source energy. The source energy is what we call God, what some people call the universe, what some people call source you you are made up of that. That is what you are made. That's what that's what that's what that's what, that's what that's what we mean when we say the God within us. So because you are divinely connected, because you are uh, uh, connected to the very universe, the very cosmos, you are never alone, and you are backed by unseen powers, which means unseen powers have your back. Some people call them your spirit guides. Some people call them your ancestors. Um, in, 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 in African spirituality, they're called Orishas. In some indigenous and Native American cultures, they're called uh, your animal guides. These, these are the, the your angels. These are the unseen powers that have your back, right? So let's let, let's continue. Significance of 1111 portal. The angelic en energy number 1111 wakens you to the fact that you are backed by unseen powers. The, the significance of 1111 as an angelic number in, nu in numerology is very, sign is very significant. 11 is regarded as a master number that signifies the presence of spiritual direction, dreams, and intuition. It is said that November 11th has spiritual significance during the middle of the Scorpio season. Intensity, transition, and rebirth are all indicated. It is believed that the date has something to do with the ideas of oneness and divinity. What did I just say? We are all one. We are all connected. We are all connected to the source. The source is within us. The source is all around us. And it is what connects us. We are completely connected to, to, to nature. We are completely connected to the divine. It goes on to say 1111 portal represents the symbol of Rahu. 
Rahu is considered to be a planet that is full of desires. The sum of the numbers 1111 is 4, and Rahu is represented by the number 4. Humans receive the much needed push for manifestation from the portal energies. Manifestation is simply when uh, uh, the things that you are creating for yourself, uh, your desires, your wants, your dreams, and all of that. Manifestation is simply when they are realized in this natural realm. In this realm where you can see, touch, taste, hear, feel them with your five natural senses. That's all manifestation is. That's what manifestation means. And the Bible even speaks of manifestation. Because like we said, the Bible is not the religious book that they have conditioned us and trained us and programmed us to believe. The Bible is a spiritual book. The Bible is a book that teaches spiritual concepts and precepts. Okay? Um, Ruha is considered to be a planet that is full of desires. The sum of the numbers of 11, 11, 11, 11, I mean 11, 11 is 4. And Ruha is represented by the number four. Humans receive the much needed push for manifestation from the portal energies. You can see your hopes, aspirations, and desires come true this month by working on them seriously. This is a moment that you can deliberately take advantage of. You have to be deliberate with your manifestations. You have to be deliberate with creating uh, uh, your dreams and your and your desires and creating this new reality and creating your new life. You have to be deliberate and you have to be intentional. You have to deliberately say certain words. You have to deliberately think certain thoughts. You have to deliberately feel certain feelings and, 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 and pay attention to those feelings. You have to deliberately take inspired action towards manifesting your dreams, your hopes, your aspirations, your goals, whatever. It's something that you did do deliberately, understanding that you're working with this energy. You and this energy now become co-creators. You become co-workers. People with number one or number four get auspicious results from Rahu on this day. For those whose position of Rahu is weak in their horoscope, this day is considered auspicious to eat to strengthen Rahu. Now we're not into all, into all the astrology stuff, but I'm just telling you. And, and you know, and that was just a little something, something about this 1111 portal. Now, let's find out when it ends. So, let's see here. Let's see what they have to say. Now, uh, one result is saying that it lasts from 11.11 to 11.30. So you have basically two weeks to kind of align your vision with your reality. And to get in line with these energies, to get in line with the cosmos, to understand that you are divine. You are one with divinity. You are one with the, uh, the, the, the cosmos. Everything is connected. And if you have, and if you did what I suggested that you do on the video with the the, the, the cinnamon and the bay leaf and the and the rice, and you uh, release the old energy and you ushered in and welcomed the new energy into your space, then you have this energy to work with. Now you have this energy to work with uh, indefinitely. Okay, let's see what else it says. Let's see what somebody else says about it. See if they say anything about how long it lasts.
Okay, that doesn't necessarily say how long it lasts. Let's see. Okay, that's not working either. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Okay, this is something that they say, astral collective. This is something that they say about the 1111 portal. What it means in a ritual to activate your ascension. November is always a special month as it has the 11 frequency, which in numerology is a master number. 11 signifies higher realms and spiritual awakening. It is the teacher number and can also represent coming into alignment with your higher self. Your higher self, your higher consciousness, that is that part of you that is constantly, always connected to the universal mind. One represents the individual, the I am, whereas 1111 is two individuals standing together. Right? And, and we're always stronger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Two heads, like they, the old saying, two heads are better than one. Uh, 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 in the Bible, you know, the Bible says that everything is uh, is established based on two or more witnesses. So two is very significant. Two people standing together uh, is, is very significant. We are here in this consciousness to experience ourselves through others. And this is what the 11 shows us. This frequency can help take us to a higher consciousness, other dimensions outside of space and time. The two ones together look like portals or pillars next to each other. An opening to another world. We see this in the high priestess card in tarot too. The two pillars either side either side of the priestess holding the veil to another realm. How do we get through the veil? Now that's for, for, for folks that are into tarot readings and tarot cards and all of that. All through November you can tap into this 11th frequency and on certain days the vibration is higher. So all through the month of, of, of November, you know, there's this uh, um, extra oomph because November is the 11th month, right? So there's this extra potency, there's this extra potent energy that is available the whole month of November. But there are specific days of November when it's even stronger, when it's even more potent, right? Um... If you are finding it hard to access, then try meditation, getting out in nature, or journaling. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm big now on grounding, on getting out in nature with your bare feet and just, and just staying out there for 10, 15, 20 minutes, letting the sun shine on you while you, stay, while you walk around with your bare feet. Or if you don't want to walk, you can sit in one spot in a chair and just let your feet, your bare feet rest on Mother Earth. And, and you receive all of this. You're receiving... Uh, 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 all of this um, energy and, and, and all of this uh, vitamin D and all of that stuff that you get from the sun plus you're receiving all of this good stuff all of these uh, 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 electrical eons and ions or whatever they call them and all of that from, from, from mother nature it's just, it, it's just a beautiful thing or you can go outside take a walk if you live by the beach go outside take a walk in the sand under the sun and, and let the water just rush over your feet Oh, it's just go out in nature and spend some time outside. That's the reason why all of a sudden this saying came along about uh, y'all need to go outside. We outside. It's because we have to reconnect with nature. Why? Because we are one with nature. We are one with everything. We are everything and everything is us. The 11th of November is a powerful day and it, as it has the 1111 frequency, which again, the two, the double, twice. 11, 111, I mean, 1111 is a powerful number in astrology and an angel number. How often do you see 1111 on a clock? Use this day to set your intentions and manifest away. You can also try this ritual on 1111 to manifest doing this powerful vibration. Other days to do this in November are the 19th, 
and the 29th. So we've got two more days coming up. We've got the 19th and the 29th. The 19th is next Sunday, and I'm not sure when the 29th is. These days also have a one vibration in, num in numerology. Sit quietly, breathe deeply, and write freely. Journal what you would like to manifest, what you want to bring into your life. Don't think about what you are writing. Just let the ideas flow onto the paper. Two, once you have finished, look through and highlight any key areas or ideas that you would like to focus more on to bring into your life. Think of the emotions associated with this happening. How would you feel? Okay, if you're trying to manifest a, a, a new job, right? You, 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 you think about that job you th and think about how you would feel when you got that telephone call or when you got that letter or when you got that email with that job offer. Think about how that would make you feel. Think about some of the things that you would be able to do, things that you would be able to accomplish with this new position. If you want a new car, right? Think about how you would feel once you slide into that brand new car, smell the new car uh, 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 scent, Feel the, the seats and all of that under you. You know, feel like it ha feel how it would feel to be driving this new car down the road. Close your eyes and see it, and see in your third eye those things happening. Visualize. Let your imagination run free with these things that you want to create into your life. Visualize yourself with them. Visualize yourself enjoying them. Visualize yourself winning the lottery. Visualize yourself receiving a check for uh, for 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 five hundred thousand, a million dollars, or what whatever it is. Close your eyes and visualize it, and pay close attention to how that visualization makes you feel, and hold on to that feeling. Feel the emotion associated with it, with it coming from your heart space. Merge the seeing and the feeling together. Give yourself permission to bring this into your life. Open up your mouth and say, I allow myself to receive these things into my, my life. I permit myself to receive these things into my life. That's when you're using that throat chakra. That's when you're speaking. That's when you're calling those things that be not into existence. You are calling your new reality into your life. You can say out loud, I give myself permission to feel what you want to manifest, what you want to manifest and bring more of this energy into my life starting from today. Right? Sit with this for 11 minutes. Enjoy it. Feel the joy and happiness sweep over you. Ask your guides to be with you during this time. So if you're already a spiritual person and you know who your spiritual guides are or whatever, then enlist them to help you. Enlist them to be a part of this. If you're just now started on your spiritual journey and you don't know who your spirit guides are, then ask. Go into a quiet place. Uh, 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 get your breathing under control. Breathe. Close your eyes. Visualize. And ask the universe to show you your spirit guides. And ask your spirit guides to contact you in whatever way they feel like contacting you. It may come through a dream. It may come through a real persistent thought in your head to let you know, here we are. We are your spirit guides. There are different ways that it could come through. And it's not going to come through the same way for everybody. Thank yourself, thank your gods, and thank the universe for allowing this energy to come freely to you. Right? Gratitude. What did I tell you? The attitude of gratitude. We have to be thankful for all of this stuff. We have to be thankful for what we already have. We have to be thankful for the knowledge that we have. We have to be thankful for the people in our lives. We have to be grateful. So allow yourself to feel grateful uh, 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 while you're visualizing. If, if you have children or, or grandchildren or nieces and nephews or friends or family or, 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 or co-workers or whatever that you really like and you really uh, appreciate them, you're really grateful to have them in, their, in your life, then make them a part of your visualization. Make them a part of when you're closing your eyes and you're seeing yourself enjoying 
these things that you want to manifest into your life. And be grateful that the people that you love, that your friends, your family, your, your co-workers, your significant other or whatever, be grateful that they can be a part of this with you. Thank yourself, thank your guides, and thank the universe for allowing this energy to come freely to you. Watch out for signs, watch out for signs or synchronicities that the universe will give you. Synchronicities are you just keep seeing the same thing over and over and over again, or you keep seeing this particular number like 1111 or 222 or, or 333 or 555 or 888 or 999 or 11 or 22. Or you just keep seeing these same numbers over and over again. Uh, 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 that's just like sometimes when I'm doing, I'm working on a cash register because you know, uh, 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 I used to work at, at Food Line as a cashier. And a, lot, and a lot of times, back to back to back, customers would come up and they would be buying totally different stuff, but their purchase amount would be the exact same thing. Like one customer came up and their balance was $13.56. Okay, well here comes another customer that came up and, and, and their thing was $13.56. And then maybe the third customer that came up, it, uh, their amount was different, but their change was $13.56. That's a synchronicity. That's a sign. Watch out for signs of synchronicities that the universe will give you, showing you that you are on the right path. During November, it could be 11-11 on a clock or, or words of a song. Our higher self is always trying to communicate with us. We just have to slow down and listen. Well, that's it for the article. But and 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 actually, this one this is a very good one. So I'll actually link this one in the description box, right? Um, but and, and it goes on to and, and just like I said right here, it reads: We just have to slow down and listen. Our higher self, that's your higher consciousness. That's that that that's the person who you always have been. That's that's the real you. Your higher self is always trying to communicate with you. You just have to slow down and listen. And it brings me to a point of that's the reason why we live in this 3D realm and they have set this system up so that there's always hustle and bustle. You always got to run here. You got always got to run to work. You got to run and do this. You got to run and take care of this and all of that. Why? It's to keep you constantly moving. To keep you constantly moving. To keep you constantly distracted. That's the reason why a, a mainstream media and what we see on TV and all of this is, 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 is constantly keeping us distracted from what's really going on. Why? Because as long as you're distracted and as long as you're constantly moving, you can't hear. You can't hear the things that you really need to hear. You can't hear your higher self trying to communicate with you. You can't hear what nature is trying to tell you. You can't hear what your spirit guides might be trying to tell you. You can't hear. You can't see what the universe is trying to show you because mainstream media and, and the news and, and, and what's going on in the world has always got you distracted and always got you looking over here and, and the hustle and bustle of life and work and raising kids and just trying to live and trying to make it has constantly got you on the move. And by the time you settle down a little bit, you somewhere trying to go to sleep. Or, or, or whatever because you tired and you wore out and all of this and you never have time to hear to really listen and hear what all of these positive energy forces around you are trying to tell you what they're trying to show you that's the reason why meditation is recommended so highly is because rec uh, meditation is when you actually go to a quiet place where there is no sound whatsoever you close your eyes, you breathe, and that breathing is meant to relax your body and relax your mind and push all of those thoughts that are constantly rushing in and out and in and out of your mind to quiet your mind down so that you can receive, so that you can hear what your higher self or your spirit guides or the, or, or the spirit or, or the source 
is trying to tell you. That's the reason why we got to get away from TV. We got to get away from all these movies. We got to get away from all of this uh, uh, programming on all of these reality shows and all of these TV series and all of that kind of stuff. We got to get away from all of that. We got to get away from all this mainstream music and all of that constantly bumping in our ears. We got to get a, uh, and get away from all the different voices from family, friends, all the outside external voices that are telling you, well, you need to do this and you need to do that. Well, now do it this way. No, I think you ought to do it that way. We need to get away from all of those voices and we just need to get somewhere where it's just us be quiet close our eyes and just breathe and allow some and allow your imagination to take you away why because your imagination is probably going to take you to a place where you get some answers Take you to a place where you'll see some things that you've never seen before. Take you to a place where you understand some things that you've never understood before. Take you to a place where you'll actually meet the real you. Not the you that society says you are. Not the you that society or your parents or your friends or, 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 or your partners or your lovers or all these people have told you you're supposed to be, but the real you. But that's not ever going to happen until you can get into a space where you can be alone with yourself long enough to close your eyes, push all the voices, all the thoughts, everything out of your head and just breathe. Yeah, I just want that to sink in. But like I said, I'm gonna leave this. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put the link to this particular article because this is a good one. I'm gonna leave that down in the description box so y'all can y'all can go back and y'all can read it and, and you'll have it and you can read it over and over again about the journaling and about uh, uh, writing these things down because until you get to a place in your head where you can really really control your thoughts. And, and, and you can really, really uh, meditate without uh, 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 all these outside thoughts and outside external forces coming in. Try. It's very good to write these things down, to document these things, to document your desires, document your dreams, document the things that you want to create in your life. Because the, ultimately you are going to have to accept that you are the God of your life. You are the creator of your life. Once you become an adult and you begin to make decisions for yourself, everything that happens in your life was created by you. Whether it be good or whether it be bad, it was created by you. And I will always say that that's the reason why a lot of people don't want to take this spiritual journey and don't want to delve deeper inside of themselves is because they don't want to accept the responsibility. Because you have to accept, that's the first step. The first step is accepting responsibility and holding yourself accountable. The victim mentality, the blame game, none of that works in true spirituality. None of that works in the, in the world, period. It just doesn't work. There always comes a time in life. Now it may work for a spell, but there always comes a time in life when it's not going to work and you're just going to have to accept responsibility. You're just going to have to hold yourself accountable. And if you don't, you just end up stuck wherever you are. Or you find yourself repeating the same old cycles over and over and over and over and over again. Why? Because you refuse to accept responsibility. You, ex you refuse to hold yourself accountable. You refuse to go inside internally and ask the question, okay, what am I doing wrong? What do I need to change? What is it about me that I need to fix? 
But people who don't want to accept responsibility, people who do not want to be held accountable and they don't want to hold themselves accountable will always answer that question with, no, it's not my fault, it's somebody else's fault. So and so and so is to blame. My parents are to blame. Uh, 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 the person that molested me when I was 15, when I was... Uh, Seven years old is to blame. You, it's, it's gonna always be somebody else. Instead of them going inside healing that trauma and realizing that okay, I got this trauma. I need to heal from it. This trauma is what's keeping me from moving forward. I need to heal from this trauma. And then once I need to heal, I heal from this trauma. I need to accept responsibility for my life after that. And like I said, I just wanted to come on here and share this with y'all. I didn't know what direction I was going in. You understand what I'm saying? I just freed myself up for uh, uh, the source to speak through me. But yes, I believe she did answer the question as far as how long is this portal going to be open? Now, yes, there's a very, very special energy that comes through on 11-11 because you have the double uh, 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 11s. So not only is, is the powerful number of 11 represented, but now you got the double 11. But she also lets us know, she or he or whoever wrote this, wrote this article, they also let us know that the whole month of November is special. And it's very powerful. And has a very unique and different energy about it. And that there are other days in November where it's going to be even more powerful. So you got 1111, you got 1119, and you got 1129. So don't feel like if, 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 if you're new to this or you just found out about this and 1111 has passed, don't feel like you've missed out on anything. Because the whole month of November is the opportunity for you to tap in to this higher frequency, these higher realms, this spiritual awakening, to tap into your higher self, to tap into this energy of manifestation and creation. So don't feel like you've missed out on anything. You got the rest of November to get yourself aligned To go in and do the internal work that you need to do. To get yourself aligned. So that you can begin the process of manifesting and creating the life that you really want. And then you share it with other people. Once you get the, once you get the knack of what's going on. You understand what I'm saying? Then you share it with other people. Now, you ain't got to necessarily share your business. You ain't got to necessarily tell people what you're working on or what you're trying to manifest or none of that. But once you get this knowledge and once you start seeing things start popping off and working for you, then yes, it's okay to share certain things with other people. Because at the end of the day, it's about the collective. The reason why we work on ourselves individually is so that at some point we can take what we have learned, we can take what we have experienced, we can take the wisdom that we have gathered and we can join it to the collective so that we can raise the collective. But you can't raise nobody until you raise yourself. So I'm trying to I'm trying to think here and think if, if there's anything else that that, that 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 the spirit wants me to say. Oh, I did want to say this. Now, um, this is my first year of, of being involved with this 1111 portal and all of that and 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 and, and understanding about this. This, this this frequency and all of that because you know I'm just starting just like some of y'all I'm, I'm just really really getting into this spiritual journey and I told y'all that I did the ritual on 11 11 of, 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 of releasing the old energy and uh, welcoming in the new energy and there was a decision right after that I found out something 
And what I found out, I'm not going to get too personal, but what I found out was kind of contrary to, some, to, to the way it was supposed to go down, right? This person had actually uh, 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 decided to make a decision for me without any input from me, without coming to me and asking me, okay, well, is it all right for me to do this? And is it all right for me to do that or whatever? This person just basically took my power and decided and made the decision for me. And let me know after the fact. Right? So I was thinking about it and it didn't sit well with me. That, uh, you know, at, at, at one point I had one uh, uh, one mind that was telling me, well, you know, just go along with it right now. You know, you'll have a chance later on to rectify it or whatever. But then I had another mind that was telling me, no. Because that's too much like you giving that person your power. That's too much like you giving that person the right to make decisions for you and then you just have to go along like you a child or like you a little slave or like you ain't got sense enough to make decisions for yourself or like, you know, whatever, right? And again, I'm, you know, let me, let, let me stress, this person made this decision for me without acknowledging me in the decision at all. Without asking me anything, without, you know, asking me, well, is, is it all right if I do this or if it's all right if I do that? No, they just made the decision and did it anyway and just expected me to go along with it. And then I realized something. Well, I didn't realize. Actually, uh, 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 my higher self made it clear to me. No, 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 no. It can't stand that way. And this is the reason why. You have already released the old energy and released everything that goes along with the old energy you know anything in your past uh, uh anything past relationships anything that, that that was no longer serving you the way it was supposed to be serving you you released it when you released the old energy and you have already ushered in the new energy welcomed in the new energy so now you're supposed to be walking in the new energy now this is what spirit is telling me you're now supposed to be walking in, living in, operating in this new, in and with this new energy. So if you're going to allow somebody to take you back to the person that you used to be, because that's the person that I used to be. There were certain decisions that certain people could make for me. You understand what I'm saying? And whether I really wanted to do it or whether that was really the way I wanted it to be done or whatever, I would just go along with it because for one, I didn't want to argue and fuss. And for two, you know, I was like, well, I, you know, I always, I, I'll take care of that on the back end. So the spirit was like, you know, either you're going to function in the old energy or you're going to function in the new energy. You've got a decision here to make. You claim you have already taken back your power. Okay, well, if you have taken back your power, if you allow this person to just make this decision for you without consulting you, without asking you anything, without seeing if it was okay with you or whatever, then you're pretty much giving that person your power again. And you're pretty much allowing the old energy back in, even though you claim you shut the door on the old energy. So you've got a decision to make. So I made that decision and I hit that person back up and I let them know, no, that's not the way it's going to go down. We didn't discuss that. We didn't talk about that. That's not the way it was supposed to go down. So no, it can't go down that way. And because I said no, and because I refused to give them uh, uh, my power and because I refused to just allow them to make decisions about my life and, and my time and all of that, this person then tells me that I'm going to be punished in a certain type of way. Now, not any kind of physical punishment or anything like that, but it's still basically a punishment for not just going along with the program, not just going along with you making a decision about my life without consulting me. Well, you know what my response was to that? Okay, whatever. You do what you got to do. I'm going to do what I got to do. Not with any anger. Not with any hard feelings. None of that. But Spirit made it clear to me that if you're going to operate in this new energy, you're going to have to operate in it fully. Ain't 
ain't no wishy-washy stuff. It ain't no sitting on the fence. Ain't no, you know, you got your foot in the old energy and you're trying to have a foot in the new energy. No. If you're done with the old energy, you're done with it. If you're going to operate with and in this new energy, then that's what you're going to have to do. And that's the decision that I had to make. So understand, you might find yourself. If you are one of those people that have decided that you are going to operate in this new energy, in this very special, very potent, powerful energy that November represents, especially 1111, then understand, it may have already happened for you. But if it hasn't, understand that you're going to be presented with a choice to make. A choice to step back into the old energy. Or to fully step into the new energy. Because that was the choice that I had to make. But there's another thing again that I really, really want to stress. And that's for all the people out there who feel like you are alone. You feel like you are alone. You feel like you don't have anybody. You feel like you don't have anybody to talk to. Or you're experiencing things and you don't know who to talk to about it. You're experiencing spiritual things and, and you think you're crazy. You think you might be losing your mind. You're seeing stuff. You're hearing stuff. You're dreaming about stuff and all of that. Understand that you are not alone. Understand, none of us are alone. We have our higher selves. We have spirit guides. We have these unseen forces and unseen powers backing us that have our back. And they're trying to communicate with you. They're trying to get in touch with you. They are trying to let you know that you are there, that they are there. But you're so busy with other stuff, you understand, and listening to all these other voices and involved in all of this other stuff that's distracting you till you can't hear them. So my suggestion is you find a way to be alone with yourself. There are a lot of people that can't not be alone with themselves. And that's because they don't love themselves enough. Well, you're going to have to figure out a way to be alone with yourself long enough that you can get off somewhere where you can be by yourself and be quiet. Slow down your mind. Shut down your mind. And go into your imagination so that you can finally see and hear that you are not alone. And that there are guides that want to guide you through this life. And help you make the right decisions for your own life. So that's just what I wanted to bring y'all. I know I said it wasn't going to be long, but uh, uh, Spirit had other... Uh, 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 <laughs> Spirit had other... Um, of the plans and you know I, I'm, I'm 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 back at that place i used to be here years ago but i'm back at that place again where i just allow uh uh the spirit my higher self uh, uh my spirit guides the universe god to speak through me right so uh but this is what i have for you guys like i said i will leave the link to this particular article in the description box so that you can go back and read it. You can do this ritual. You can do this journaling and all of this. Uh, you can get into meditation. If, if you don't meditate or if you don't understand what meditation is, you can do some research on meditation. Meditation is very, very good. Visualization is very important. Closing your eyes and allowing your imagination to just run wild while you see yourself you understand? And those that you love and those that you care about, why y'all, why you see y'all enjoying all of this new stuff that you're trying to create for yourself, right? But um, I want to tell you guys that I love you. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm grateful for you. I want you to love yourselves. I, I want you to take care of yourselves. I want you to get to know yourselves, get to know your higher selves. Take the time to listen so that you can find out about your spirit guides and, 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 and these other forces that are there to help you and, and to help you along your journey here. And, and just be good to yourself and be good to others. Okay? And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.